is Larry. I want to um, talk you through this. The first one is we have our free body diagram on the left. We have um, that purple heavy wagon. We're um, pulling it to the right on the sidewalk with a force of 12 newtons. And the friction is in the opposite direction. Opposes the motion. Friction always opposes the motion. 10 newtons the other way. And the force of gravity pulling the wagon down is 100 newtons. The normal force, the force with which the um, sidewalk pushes up on the wagon, is equal and opposite to the force that the wagon puts on the sidewalk. So gravity pulls down with 100 newtons. The um, sidewalk pushes up with 100 newtons. And the re reason we know those are true is because the um, wagon is not accelerating down or up. So the vertical forces must balance each other out. So the normal force pushing up has to equal the gravity force pulling down. So the only unbalanced force is um, two newtons in on the right direction. So we could um, we could solve for acceleration by that, but we're not doing it. So the second one, the batter hits the ball at an angle of 20 degrees. So let me put the ball up here. Okay, the 400 newtons hitting the ball at that angle. Now, we can split the 400 newtons into two components. There's the um, vertical component. Let me outline that with purple. That's, in fact, what's propelling the ball up. That's 400 times the sine of 20. Then we have the component of that propelling the ball forward and put little arrows on these. This would be 400 times the cosine of 20. And you can um, put that in the calculator and figure out what that is. So I will follow this in case you have a question or a comment or you think I didn't explain something well or I did something wrong. Um, you can let me know here and then I will um, see it. So thanks a lot.